Welcome to the Who Are You Really Show. I'm your host, Candy Stripe, and we are playing our game tonight with a fascinating guest, Sufi George. As you know, we challenge our guests to tell us who they really are, and if they fail the challenge, then we won't tell them who they really are, and they will go home feeling a little stunned. It's all in good fun, so now let's have some fun. Let's give a big welcome to tonight's guest, Sufi George. Oh, you mean me? If you mean me, then thank you. Thank you very much. Otherwise I will just sit over here and watch what goes on. Already, you can see that he is such a character. And clever, too. Acting like he's not sure who he really is. Sufi George, let's review the rules of the game. You must answer the question, who are you really? If you fail, you will feel like you are a marble, bobbling in a bottle, and you will go home, stunned. And if you recall, you did sign a release of liability. Okay, I think I have certainly got it now. I answer the question, who am I really? If I don't, I will be stunned. But if I do, then, it is you who will be stunned. So if you could just sign this release right here near the X, where it says I'm not liable for driving you crazy. Although you may not have to drive that much further, ma'am. But if you succeed in answering the question, you win the game. And? And what do I win? You win the game. That's the prize. Winning gives you a new personality, the winner of the game. We told you about this before the show. Don't look so stubborn. But nobody ever wins, so don't worry about it. Okay, so I will be the whoop t um, do, winner of the game. I don't know, that sounds a little empty to me. Something's missing. I should at least get a blowjob, don't you think? Okay, if you win. The third rule is that I challenge you with clues, and you either affirm or deny. For example, I challenge that you are a photographer and you affirm. That is one point for me and none for you. And now, let's play. Who are you really, Sufi George? Are you ready to play? Then, here goes. Who are you really, Sufi George? And the first challenge is that you are a minister. Go. It's difficult for me to say who I am in terms of day-to-day -day personality. I am who I need to be at the moment, and I have a large repertoire of personalities that I can resume to fit the occasion. There are times when I need to be a minister, or a beatnik poet, or a new paradigm metaphysician, or a lummox. I am all of these things, and many more, thanks to a life filled with variety, so I use whatever personality is best suited to the interaction at hand. Please stay on topic. Sufi George, and stop avoiding the challenge. Are you a minister, yes or no? Since you are looking for my personality, I can tell that somehow you expect me to have one. My base personality is almost entirely inward, watching my world and creating my thoughts. It is not a personality for interactions, so I keep it to myself. That's the root me, who I am I suppose, relative to personality, this business of switching personalities around to suit the occasion makes it difficult to pin myself down to one description. Don't. Go. Getting all multiple personality on me Sufi George. Just answer the question. Well, I do get pinned down when I linger at something long enough. For example, if I become absorbed in photography for a stretch, I can be experienced as a photographer to others. My conversations will be full of photography, my activities and efforts will be photography, and I will certainly be a photographer. Same with being a minister. People call me reverend. Is that a yes? It's my point if that's a yes. So many personalities I have been through. So many changes to adjust to and thrive in. But it has all given me a huge wealth of experiences. I figure I'm actually wise now. And I'm wise to who I am. I am a quiet space of awareness and I fill my awareness with whatever I want, basically. Sufi George, you are supposed to be answering the question, are you a minister? Stay on topic, I want my point. 
people think of themselves the wrong way. They believe they are the personality they have developed. What they miss is that they are the creator of that personality. Well, Sufi George, guests don't get to talk that much, Sufi George. So you must now go directly to the answer to this question. Are you a minister? You must go there now. They don't literally miss that point, but I mean they are mostly absorbed in their personalities and they lose touch with the side of themselves that created the personality in the first place. They have stepped into the dream and they are playing the one big video game. But those of us who have reoriented ourselves so that we remember that we are the creators, we rest freely inside ourselves when we are not actively interacting. Sufi George, you idiot. If you're not going to answer the question, you are not ever going to win the game. And I do love the game. I love the interaction game. The problem with it is that it is so often trivial and meaningless. It's hard to find attractive interaction. But finding is playing the game much better than your silly game, and that can pay off in great new experience. Anyway, to answer the question, my best answer for who I am is that I am a generic human being, a being alike with everyone. Sufi George, listen up. Are you a minister? Are you a minister? Are you a minister? What part of that question do you have trouble hearing? The thing is we are all absorbed in our life experience because we are watching it in HD, but we can from time to time choose to be distanced from the drama and simply step away from it for a while. We can give our personalities manager a break and relax as a generic human being. So that's me, a generic human being. Okay, Sufi George, that's it. I've had enough. You are disqualified from playing. Good night. And thanks for playing. I guess. So, folks, tonight's game ends with no result. A disappointment to all of us. Especially to me, since I don't get any points. But come back next week, and we'll find a guest who isn't so befuddled. Good night. Thank you.